Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3D video, like always, I'm VJ. So, if you guys notice, I had put up a .2 profile for Cura 3.3, uh, and I noticed that some people were having issues with it, so I took it down, and I decided to work on a little bit more, and here I am two weeks later with the new revised version 2 of my .2 profile for Cura 3.3. And I've tested it, multiple prints, and everything works great. So let's go ahead and get started, and I will go over every single little detail um, of what the settings are and what you need to input and what you need to change based on what filament or printer you have. So the very first thing, just to let you guys know, if any of these options here, such as layer height or initial layer height, um, does not show up on your... Cura when you open it or if you just want to get rid of some because you have too many click on this little gyro here and you can check off and uncheck which ones you want and which ones you don't want okay so let's go and start with quality let's jump right into it guys uh, as far as layer height you're going to be at 0 0.2 initial layer height is going to be at 0.28 line width is going to be 0.4 and of course initial layer line width will be at 100 then we move on to shell where thickness will be 0.8 now you can always change the thickness on this I like it at 0.8 but sometimes on big prints I do change it to one so this is something you might want to change based on what you're printing wall line count is 2 outer wipe wall wipe distance is 0.2 uh, top bottom thickness 0.6 top thickness is 0.6 automatically there when you change this so top layer make sure you change that to seven usually on top layers you need at least five or six or more and I found out that seven works very well for me bottom thickness is going to be a point six again and that's in gray because I manually changed bottom layers to six so once you change this and that's why you see this little yield sign here or uh, warning sign here but ignore that uh, it should be good to go top bottom pattern is going to be zigzag optimize while printing order I leave it checked off or checked uh, fill gaps between walls everywhere Z seam alignment uh, is going to be sharp sharpest corner enable ironing I know some people like this so I put this on here um, but I usually don't use it so feel free to use that if you guys want infill I have 20 for the density that I'm printing here um, normally I leave it at about 15 pattern as triangles overlap percentage is 10 wipe distance 0.1 layer thickness 0.2 and this would be 0 here temperature 203 uh, initial temperature is 203 as well I left these two uh, just this way because sometimes you want to leave this at 2 and this at 205 so what basically what that means is when you initially start you have your filament heated up a little bit more so you get better adhesion to the bed and then after that you can turn it down here uh, the temperature for the bed plate itself is 65 diameter guys I, I've noticed a lot of you guys are having issues uh, where you see gaps on your layering um, one small factor could be that you guys haven't changed this to 1.75 and you've left it at the standard that Cura comes with so make sure you change that to 1.75 for me flow 100% uh, I've actually done a test and believe it or not 100% works the best for me retraction of course you want to enable retraction uh, retraction at layer change of course you want to have that checked off as well and then you have retraction distance which is 8 speed I do 70 uh, extra prime amount 0 0.05 minimum travel 0 0.7 uh, now if you notice some of you guys might have this here where it'll be in orange if you just change it to 7 that will go away as far as speed I leave it at 60 but my wall speed is at 30 top and bottom speed is at 30 support speed 45 travel speed 120 the reason I have this high because this helps with retraction a lot of people don't realize that the faster your nozzle can travel the less oozing you're gonna have therefore not being able to see those actual ugly lines that don't need to be there and then you have your initial layer speed of course 30 skirt brim you always want to print those lower so that's at 30 as well 
Number of slow layers, most people have two. Um, I went ahead and put three. I just want to make sure I get that good adhesion to the bed when I first start. Now, print acceleration and travel acceleration. If you notice, most people will have four or 500 here and 4,000. Actually, sorry, it would be 500 for most people and 5,000 here. Now, the C Z seam lines that you guys get sometimes, uh, this is a small factor in that too, guys. If you guys turn this down, basically the acceleration when of the print and travel um, will avoid that a little bit, eliminate it. For some people completely, uh, some people like to put braces on their printers. Yes, that does help, but this helps as well, and that's why I turned mine down. Now, this does add to print time, but if you're already printing two days, what's an extra hour, right? Print jerk, uh, I turned it down to 7. Uh, travel jerk, I also turned it down uh, to 12. Uh, combining mode, I did all. Avoid printed parts when traveling, of course. Checked. Avoid travel distance is 0.615. For cooling, I didn't put a lot of cooling options on there, guys. Uh, I know some people like to get in detail, but for me, I just enabled cooling. So check mark here. Uh, initial fan speed is zero because I would like my filament to stick very well to my bed and therefore I don't have the fan on. I leave it at zero. Um, support. <clears throat> support is make sure you have this generated of course and then the placement is everywhere. Now if you just need it at the bottom like say for example touching the bed here somewhere you can do it just touching the bed. Um, I noticed when I did my test, support test, that anything above 50 um, I actually do require support so if you notice here if I go into layer view you'll notice here this angle here this is where 50 hits and that's where my support start so 50 is the 50 degrees is where my supports usually start printing the pattern I print is zigzag because I find it easier to remove the density um, anywhere from 10 to 15 depending on how much support you need and how strong you need it to be. My Z distance, I do this from 0.2 to anywhere. I usually keep it between 0.2 and 0.265. For this particular print, I did it at 0.22, but you guys can play around with that and figure it out. But I normally keep it between 0.2 and 0.265. XY distance is 0.7, and minimal support XY distance is 0.2. And I usually print with skirts unless I'm doing a huge print. Then I go raft. Um, I don't really use brim a lot. Um, I just think it's pointless for me to do that. Uh, line count when I'm using skirt is four. And for raft, um, actually there's none for raft. So just for skirt, I have that set, but not for raft. I haven't set that. Uh, mess fixtures. I'm actually going to make a separate video about this, guys. Basically, what it is is if you're looking to combine two separate STL files into one, you can actually use this to do so. So it prints it as one solid part. And like I said, I'll make a video about that later. Printing sequence, of course, you want all at once. This right here, I left it as an option, guys. Um, for those of you that want to print vase or vases, um, you just go ahead and check this off make sure you take your infill off and your support off and go, you can basically print with the settings you have just increase your wall thickness I believe it is and then you should be good to go tree support um, I have gone this over another video so I won't get too much into that I do use adaptive layering and the settings these are I believe basic default settings which is 0.1 and then you have the step size which is 0 0.01 then the threshold is 200 okay so there you go guys this is my Cura point 2 profile for Cura 3.3 and I will have this posted on the Creality forum and my forum as well and other forums uh, that I'm a part a member of now just to let you know uh, where can you download this profile if you go ahead and open it up and I'll put a link to this at the bottom if you go ahead and go to my uh, Facebook group page Sandtube 3d printing group the world is our 3d community 
So if you come to this page here, you'll notice people have some posts and pictures, but what you're looking for is in the file section right here. Once you click on that, you'll notice, um, you'll, I'm going to upload it after this video, but you'll notice that it'll say SAN2.2 um, profile for Cura 3.3 version 2. So look for that. Look at the date it was uploaded, which would, should be today or tomorrow's date, and it'll say version 2, and you just click here and download it. And when you go into Cura, just make sure you have these selected and everything else not selected. So that's basically it, guys. I hope this really helps you out. I apologize for the first version that I put out. Um, I don't know why it worked well for me. It still actually works well for me. Uh, but based on the troubles people were having, I modified this version to help out with that. Just remember, the temperature is something you're going to change all the time. Retraction also base, is based on the filament. And if your temperature is too high, uh, you probably will get a lot of stringing. So you might want to avoid that. Do, do a small temperature test, retraction test every time before you uh, use a brand new spool of filament, guys. It will save you a lot of time and headache. So there you go, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will have everything uploaded soon. And with that said, just remember, like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.